Okay, uh, we're going to do a video here about uh, trying to make some mead in the Unreal world. Uh, this will be for version 3.30. Uh, where I am right here, uh, I'm on the game's website. And if you go down uh, to the modding section, uh, you can go ahead and find it in here. Uh, it's uh, the mead brewing mod. Uh, we'll scroll through this. Go ahead and uh, download the mod. Uh, right there. Uh, we'll close this ad. Alright, we have the file. I'll go ahead and close this browser now. And yes, you cheap bastard, you should register your WinRAR. Okay, uh, so here's the files that are in the uh, in the mod. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, show that it uh, is here in the, in the downloads, and, and I opened it from there. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and go to my Unreal World directory. Uh, this is an old directory name, but uh, that's the one we'll be using. So we'll go ahead and uh, select all the text files, and go ahead and just put those right into your Unreal World directory. I'll say yes to replace any files that existed uh, and they only existed for me because I actually built the mod and I must have left something un un renamed there uh, then I'm going to select this directory here that's in the in the mod uh, in the zip and that contains the graphics for the mod uh, so if I go ahead and drag that there it's going to tell me there's two files they already exist in my subdirectory but I'm going to go ahead and replace those and then we'll close up that window, close up that window, and we'll go ahead and uh, stop the recording for a second, and I'll start the real world, Unreal World, and we'll get, actually I'll just go ahead and double click and we'll start, start the game. Actually I will, once the game starts, or starts up, I'll go ahead and stop the video, because it's right now on my whole screen, uh, and I'll shrink it down so it's just the game. Okay, uh, I've reset uh, my, my capture software so that it's uh, just showing, me, showing us the game screen. And uh, to play the mod, now uh, all we did was we copied the text files into uh, the Unreal World folder, uh, copied the graphics files into the True Tile folder, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and create a new character. I'm going to do custom here. Uh, even though quick and easy would work, I want to pick a time where there will actually be honey, uh, and I'm going to do custom because I'm going to pick a scenario here uh, that will be sure that we come up with an axe because because we'll need an axe to, to to get through it. Uh, and we'll go ahead and pick a, pick a tribe. Uh, we'll pick a character, and we'll pick that guy. And now for the honey, I'm going to pick August because uh, that's or the the uh, fall because that's when the, the hives will be ready. Uh, we'll go ahead and take the defaults on this guy. Uh, there's his rituals. We have some points to spend. So I'll go ahead and just throw those into something. Uh, we'll go into cookery, fishing, timber craft, trapping, and hopefully axe. And we'll say yes after we've applied the five points. And now I'm going to try to get into the uh, the middle of the continent uh, toward the south because there's I found that there's a lot of marshes there and it'll make it easier for me to find honey. Uh, that actually might not be bad. So I'm going to go ahead and take the starting spot is right here. I'm going to go ahead and take that uh, because at least to the south there should be good marshes around there for me to collect my my honey from. And what I'm going to pick here is the abandoned cabin because uh, I know for sure normally along with the partially constructed buildings it leaves you uh, a couple of different types of axes around. Uh, that's this one here, the lonely settler leaves you with two uh, half finished cottages and some axes. Uh, so I'm going to say yes there. Uh, we're going to not do any of the tutorials uh, in this one so I'm going to hit escape to just go. 
And now you can get into the tutorials by hitting F5 at any time and start those up. And confirming our scenario. It's actually starting us in a marsh, which is great. We'll do a quick turnaround. Uh, I'm going to hit I to see my inventory. I am already holding an axe, so I'm not going to be overly concerned with what's here. I'm going to hit Control Zero and, and zoom all the way out uh, so that I can see what's around this base right here. don't readily see a beehive, although there could easily be one on this uh, on this marsh or mire or whichever this might be. Uh, there's there's one right there. So uh, I'm going to control zero to snap in. Uh, here's a beehive. Uh, and now they grow through the year and, and die uh, in like November or October. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use my uh, capital G uh, to pick it up from, from a distance and we'll go ahead and uh, point that way and we, we ripped apart their house and, and got uh, got three fistfuls of beehives uh, now the mod does require 20 beehive or 20 excuse me 20 honeycombs uh, to make mead so I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop now what I'm all I'm going to do is just just run around through Myers and, and collect honeycombs uh, and as soon as I have 20, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and start back up. But uh, basically, I'm hitting enter right now to zoom out. Uh, I'll just start scouring this whole mire, uh, basically one square at a time, because uh, the the bees won't be all over the place. They're not. They don't proliferate. Uh, there's the odds of finding one honeycomb on any one square, or one beehive. Excuse me. Uh, the beehive could have. Uh, from one to five honeycombs in it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and search for some honeycombs and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so we've got uh, go to inventory, we're up to 19 honeycombs, so I should be able to, from this last beehive right here, uh, get the, the last one that I need. Actually, I got three. And now I did notice right as I was getting to those, to that last B, that there's these berries here, which I believe are in season right now, or they're ripe right now. And so we'll go ahead and pick uh, a pound of berries to, to put into our mead. so I think we should be good now. So we're going to go ahead and zoom back to where his settlement was, or where the building was that we started, the partial building we started with. And another nice thing about this start right here is it puts some boards in one of these buildings for you already. make us some barrels. I'm going to go ahead and go to the menu here. And so so the menu options that are created for for this mod are, are from the make menu, uh, the brewers menu, uh, which from that you can create the barrel uh, to put your meat into and uh, and a barrel plug uh, to it's a it's a rough stopper so that the mix can still breathe while it's while it's essentially fermenting. Uh, on the cooking menu, there is uh, a new task, brewing, which is basically just to make your mead. Um, and now you can make two kinds of mead. You can make either an alcoholic mead or a non-alcoholic mead. If I took my berries and just made a mead right now, or excuse me, my berries and my, my honey and just made a mead right now, uh, it would make a, a non-alcoholic mead. If I prepare the honey first by a, a, a process that we'll go through, 
which creates basically our fermented honey that we then add the berries to to give it some more some more sugar and flavor uh, that will create for us a an alcoholic mead or at least as much as the game supports uh, so we have 16 boards here uh, let's go to the make menu and we'll come over here to brewer and let's make a barrel I'm going to need three pieces of tying equipment and unfortunately this individual didn't start with any so we're gonna go to uh, take off uh, shift T find out what we're wearing that we can strip down for clothing uh, or for uh, cordage excuse me uh, we will take off this cloak and now I'm gonna go ahead and make up some cord because we'll need uh, three cords to make a barrel and actually since I don't have a pot or anything like that to, to also use in this process and you'll see why um, I'm gonna go ahead and make two barrels so I'm gonna make the four cords there and then I'm gonna make uh, two more cords giving us a total of six cords three for each barrel should be able to make the barrel uh, and you see you need the board tying equipment an axe and a knife to, to fabricate a, a barrel now the barrel is uh, a small barrel it, it holds about eight pounds so it holds a gallon uh, the recipe that I used when I made this mead uh, mod uh, is basically the same recipe I used for some pomegranate wine uh, so it makes uh, it makes a gallon, and so this I had to add this barrel object uh, to give us a container that would actually hold the hold one batch. This guy's getting pretty hungry, so let's go ahead and eat some of the free food he got at the beginning. Ooh, and we're still only weary, so I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can't knock out this other barrel. Now for the uh, for the stoppers, uh, actually I only need one because because we aren't going to make more than one batch. Um, it just uses a uh, a branch. You, you get a branch and, and you uh, and with a knife and fabricate that down. You know, whittle it down to a rough fitting stopper for the for the barrel. And we're uh, we're we're pretty tired. We have should have two barrels now. And so I'm going to let this guy go to sleep real quick. Hopefully nothing will bother us. We can get through the night. It is chilly, so he's hungry. He's chilly. Our thirst is up pretty high. is actually I think for for this scenario uh, I think this is probably the best location I've ever seen them leave a house behind normally they put you off in the middle of nowhere uh, so let's go ahead and set our barrels over here all right we're gonna need a stick or a branch excuse me and that is a branch so we're gonna go ahead and scoop that up and go over to again to the make menu to brewers we're going to make a barrel plug. And now in order, uh, in order to, uh, to make our mead, uh, we're going to need some, we're going to need some fire. So we'll go ahead and pull some twigs off of this tree right here. And R, I'm, I'm going to run that a couple of times. Okay, and I believe we are ready to uh, do the first process. So I'm going to go ahead and start my fire. I'm going to go into the cooking menu, and I'm going to pick 
royal because I'm gonna I, I want to make mead that has at least the game's representation of, of an intoxicant. Uh, I'm gonna select my my raw ingredients. It will only let me do ten at a time, uh, and that's why I actually made the two barrels so that I can actually cook as much as I need for one batch, uh, because the ten would only be half as much as I as we would need. I'm gonna hit enter there. Uh, it tells us we need something to cook them in. Uh, we can use the barrels for that, and we'll get that one going. And I'll hit R, and R is repeat. We'll do another batch of ten honeycombs. And we'll pick this barrel. And since our fire's still going, it's going to go ahead and run both of those. Uh, and they will be ready in a half an hour. Uh, now, the mead itself for the next step, once we actually put it in the barrel and, and let it start to ferment and make uh, a beverage, uh, I currently have that process set for 30 days in game. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here and go back to my full screen and I'm going to change that setting and, and let, let you see where we do that and that way when we do the next process uh, I won't have to try to kill off 30 days in this character for us to actually get something so that we can drink and go fishing. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the video right here and I'll be right back. Okay, as you can see we're back now and uh, I believe you should see more of my screen. I'm going to go ahead and go back to, uh, did I leave it open? I did not. I'm going to go back to the folder where uh, where the save was. And now the uh, cooking is in the, the cookery, which makes sense, I guess. And right here is where I have the timer set for how long it's going to take. So, so to cook mead, it's going to take 30 minutes of interactive process where your character is frozen in game time. Uh, then he's going to set it down and it's actually going to set for 30 days. Instead of that, let's go ahead and do uh, 30 minutes and that way uh, I can just do it with a, a timer kill and we can, uh, we can see. So I'm going to save that, close that down, and close that down, and I'm going to switch back to uh, just the game. All right, now we should be back to just the game, and uh, these are still preparing because uh, I didn't actually do anything in the in the game while I did all that. So we'll step off that and hit minus and let uh, let a little time go by. It tells us okay, the barrels are ready. I'm gonna hit comma and pick both of those up. As you can see, both uh, are only very slight. Are they're only slightly filled uh, because each one only has a little bit of honey in it, but it was an actual quantity of 10 to cook. Uh, so I'm going to pick, I'm gonna highlight both of those, pick them both up. Now the way you deal with containers in the game is, is a little strange. Uh, so I have two partially filled uh, barrels with, with my fermenting honey in it. I'm going to need a whole barrel in order to make my full batch. Uh, so what you do is you go into A, which is the apply menu, and you select the barrels, and I'm going to tell it to pour or put something into this barrel, whichever of the two it's going to pick since I have two in a row. Uh, and I'm going to pick the other barrel, and, uh, oh, and it says I'm picking itself because of course they're the same. Uh, pour, put something into. Okay, and I'm having a problem because... Okay, the problem is that because these two items are, are the same, when I'm picking it to pour it into it, it's saying, oh, you're pouring it into itself. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the rough skin instead. And I'm going to say, uh, pour something into this. And I'll pick one of these barrels. And now there'll be different sizes or different volumes. Actually, one of them emptied out. Uh, and that basically gives me my empty barrel so that I can create my gallon of, of mead. Uh, what I can do now is uh, either leave it there and use them from the two different containers, or I can go back over to the barrel and say pour something into this, uh, take it out of the skin, 
so that now the barrel, one barrel, contains all of the, the uh, fermenting honey. Fortunately, my fire is still burning because in game I didn't do anything, I just talked a lot. Uh, so we're going to, uh, now we already changed the parameters so that it should only take us 30 minutes now to actually produce the end product. Um, I'm going to go to the cooking menu and now we're going to go down to the brewing. We're going to select that, we're going to tell it to make some mead. Uh, it's first going to tell us that we need, uh, it looks like I need to shorten that menu just a little bit. Uh, it tells us that we need some uh, one pound of berries. So I'm going to pick those berries that were just uh, handy for me. Uh, now we need two pounds of honeycombs. And now in our container down here, we have our boiled honeycombs. And now the boiling, again, the boiling process is what actually will make this a fermented product on the, on the outside end. We could have just come into mead and used the regular honeycombs here, and it would just make like a, like a honey wine or like a ceremonial honey mead. So uh, I'm going to pick the boiled honeycombs. Tells us we need a, a, a pot, uh, and as you can see, we're using about eight, actually nine pounds, but uh, just over eight pounds of uh, materials uh, to make a gallon. We're going to pick our empty container and our uh, and our plug, of course. And our fire is burning out, but that's okay because we got uh, got our mead set down in time. Uh, should be ready in a half an hour, so we'll go ahead and kill off some time real quick. It should tell us that it smells good. Okay, and it was a fibrous berry that we uh, that we used. So I'm going to go ahead and fill up my skin because I don't want to carry a barrel around. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and fill this with some of my mead. And then I can go ahead and drop my barrel here on the ground, so because I don't want to lose it while I'm uh, while I'm out drinking. I'll actually drop. No, I didn't drop both. I'm going to drop both though. All right. Um, look at my inventory, and we should have a skin in here that uh, is full of mead. Now, now it does put it in food and, and I don't like that and I don't know that there's a way around it yet in the game. Because I use solids to make the, uh, the technically it's a drink, but uh, because I use solids to make it, the game thinks it's, it's more of a, an eaten food versus a drinking food. Um, so that's, that's something you gotta, you gotta take note of is that it does put it down in your food section, not uh, if I go to Q it tells me I don't have anything to drink even though I have a skin that has that in it. Uh, and again here, on, if I look at A to apply one of my containers, it'll say, oh, it's actually containing food. So let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and eat some, uh, some meat. Ooh. And now I was pretty hungry so I might have uh, drank and eaten a lot. Oh, only, only a couple of pounds so Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and take a take a little walk around before uh, we start getting really drunk and, and see if we can't. Oh, it's too late. Uh, we're already uh, starting to feel the effects. Uh, things are flashing. My 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 balance is going. Okay. Uh, there's a river around here somewhere, and basically that's that's the effect that uh, lets you know that you're intoxicated, uh, and that's how you uh, install the mead mod and how you make mead. Thanks.